Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about a very basic concept in artificial neural network that is what is the perceptron model. Okay, so let's start. So uh, if you uh, have uh, some knowledge on like uh, deep learning, uh, then you know like there are some input layer, then there are certain hidden layer, and then there are certain output, I mean one output layer, right? So each layer is comprises of uh, multiple neurons, basically. Okay. So how individual neuron uh, work, basically, right? What is the role, basically? What happens inside that one? So that's what I'm going to talk about, okay? Under perceptron model, okay? So think of a uh, basic neuron, okay? And then uh, it will take certain input, that is X1 and X2. Okay, so we have one input x1 and another input x2. And then based on those two input, it will produce certain output, that is y. Okay, and now you think, see here, um, we have two input x1 and x2, and we are getting some output y. So if you think mathematically, right, so y could be a function of x1 and x2, correct? So that's where uh, this function lies inside this basic neuron, okay? So this you can think of. So now uh, this function uh, could be any any complex function or very simple function. So let's see, uh, fx could be a x1 plus x2 or fx could be a very complex function uh, uh, of x1 and x2. So it could be anything, okay? But for our understanding um, explanation purpose, let's see, okay, let's take fx equal to x1 plus x2 and uh, this will be the base for our uh, uh, remaining explanation, okay? So now uh, fx is equal to x1 plus x2. So if we input some x1 value and x2 value, then we get the output y, okay? So you can also think of this as a problem like uh, we want to estimate a house price, okay? And then uh, we have two features given for the house, like uh, one is like size of the house and another is like locality, like in which area this house is uh, available, okay? So based on two features, uh, we want to uh, estimate the price of the house, correct? So that's where like we can determine some relationship between x1 and x2 and based on that relationship, we can get the price of the house. So that uh, will be a real world problem, okay? So that's where like um, here uh, there could be any number of input and based on that, we'll get some output, okay? So I'm not going in that much detail, basically. I just want to explain the basic working of perceptron model, okay? So we have some output and we are generating one output, fine. Now, uh, what happened? Uh, y is more uh, dependent on x1 compared to x2 or y is more dependent on x2 than x1 right so in that scenario we need to give more weightage to the uh, input which has more impact on output variable correct so that's where we have something called weighting mechanism okay so we assign some weights to the input feature which govern the like balancing factor as a balancing factor like uh, adjustment uh, to the parameter basically so the parameter at the feature which has more impact to the y will have more weight assigned to that one basically okay so now after having those weight basically our equation will become f of x is equal to w1 x1 plus w2 x2 okay now another scenario could be suppose uh, x1 and x2 both are zero then doesn't matter what uh, weight you assign our uh, you will not get any outcome right to handle this scenario we have something called bias terminal terms associated with each weight basically so now uh, we uh, have uh, bias b1 uh, with respect to w1 and bias b2 with respect to w2 okay so now after having this bias our equation will become like this f of x is equal to x1 w1 plus b1 and x2 w2 plus b2 okay so these b1 and b2 are associated uh, bias term with respect to w1 w2 okay so this is basically adjusting the, those parameters basically in different scenarios okay so this is this so now uh, this is the whole working of this uh, perceptron model basically and now if we want to generalize it basically so what happens after generalizing? Suppose we have a more a feature x1, x2, x3, x4 till xn basically, okay? And then our generalized equation will become f of x is equal to i equal to one to n xi wi plus bi. And then you uh, put uh, x1, I mean uh, feature value here and there will be some uh, uh, weight and bias term associated with that. And then you solve this equation and you will get easily get the y value, okay? So now, this is as simple as it is looking, okay? But your whole deep learning is uh, based on finding these different weight, finding these optimal weights basically and finding these optimal bias terms basically, okay? So there are uh, many more advanced concepts which you will learn in uh, the coming videos. 
uh, like activation functions, uh, back propagation, feed forward network, may, many optimizer, many concepts are there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, my plan is to explain each and individual concept in my upcoming video. Okay, so there will be short videos uh, for each and individual concept. So in today's video, I have explained this whole working of perceptron model basically, and now uh, you will see in uh, upcoming video like. Uh, each layer is comprises of multiple neurons. This is the working of individual neuron. And you will see like how multiple neurons are associated with each other. And then they form a layer basically. You will have one input layer and then multiple hidden layer and then one output layer, which will determine your output. Okay. So that's, um, we are something, that's something we are going to learn in upcoming videos. So I hope uh, um, you like this video. And this is all about the basic perceptron model. Okay, and uh, if you like, then please uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share with uh, your community. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.